An abandoned mine called the Great Pit sits on the edge of the quaint town of Falun, Sweden. The pit wasn't always dormant, however. Rewind a few centuries, and the mine was thriving, producing two-thirds of all of the copper for the Western world. Falun is proud of its heritage, and the unique attraction has earned the town the badge of UNESCO's World Heritage Sign, a privilege bestowed upon landmarks deemed worthy by the United Nations. It also takes home history's largest cave in the world award, but don't worry, no workers or mining canaries were hurt during the centuries-old disaster. However, the danger is still real, and European engineering company Sweco is hired to identify movement or settlements that could lead to a future collapse at the tourist attraction. To stay out of harm's way, they'll use the MD LiDAR 3000 DL from the Micro Drones Expert Drone Line to survey and map the historic balloon mine, and identify any areas of risk. Will the crew make one or two flight routes? How will they account for the uneven height and hatch angles? But most importantly, what other challenges remain in the air above or the depths below the Great Pit? To answer these questions, the team starts by creating their plan and determining if they need one flight or two flights to capture the enormity of the pit. Safety comes first, and after a pre-flight checklist and ensuring the skies are clear, the team gets the drone ready for flight number one, at an altitude of 80 meters. Once in the air, high above the Great Pit, the LiDAR collects millions of data points to help with the analysis of surface. However, is the drone too high or is the pit too deep to collect accurate surface data and provide the coverage needed? Another flight at a lower altitude can't hurt, to make sure the data doesn't cave in like the mine did so many years ago. Speaking of the mine, the team suited up and ventured into the darkness to explore the depths of the pit for themselves. Deep underground, the history of the mine seeped through the walls with a claustrophobic feel, exposing the dangers miners faced years ago. Digging into the past gave the Sweco team an appreciation for the project and a desire to return topside. Plus, there was still more drone surveying to complete. Back above the pit, the crew was joined by a Micro Drones team member to witness flight number two. Once again, the drone surveying equipment took to the air, although this time at 40 meters altitude, half the height of the first flight to achieve a higher point density. Upon completion, a quick field quality check verified the data and confirmed the team could head back to the office for processing and visualization. Did the drone deliver? Was there enough data to create a point cloud for analysis? Were two flights even necessary? These questions were answered after the LiDAR files and data were imported into MD Infinity and each flight was processed separately. Once the data was visualized, the answers surprised them. The higher flight captured more points than anticipated, making the second flight move. However, too much data wasn't necessarily a problem in this case. Upon the successful completion of the project, Sweco could provide an accurate DTM of the Great Pit to their customer and compare it to previously collected data to look for shifts in the terrain, erosion, and other surface irregularities that could reveal possible danger zones. In two years' time, Sweco will be back with drone surveying equipment from Microdrones to update their data and complete another great analysis at the Great Pit.